In this video you're gonna learn how to make cool effects in Minecraft like this nice blood effect here, this ender effect here that will make your enemies teleport around and last but not least this is very cool effect that makes you immortal. I think we're gonna start with the bleeding effect, that's what it does again if you've already forgotten and the first thing you will need to do is turning this thing off but you haven't set it up all already that's why it doesn't really matter. Then you save this structure here as bleed, x offset 0, y offset 1 and yeah I think you can just copy the rest, press on save and before you do that just take your item you want uh, to be the bleeding trigger or whatever and call it paragraph 4 bleed like this. Okay. Then we have one command block here, repeat and minus on needs redstone because I needed to turn this off on the tutorial. Kill at E, name equals bleed. So if you've called your item any different, then just enter this name instead. Then we're gonna uh, pick ourselves, execute at no name uh, and those numbers here. That's my name. You're gonna need to put your username in there run structure load bleed that's the structure you just saved and then those coordinates also it's very important that you uh, first drop your item here then wait a little bit so it's instantly gonna pick up again also this thing here has a delay in ticks of five I just forgot to mention this then we have a comparator pointing into this command block here which is gonna have this input, input uh, execute at my username, positioned, then those things here, 3, run tech, at E, so yeah, I think I'm not gonna have to read all of this out loud, it's just gonna give everything that's not me, or you in your case, the tech bleed, and it's also not an arrow and XP orb and an item, but yeah, I think you could guess that. Then we're gonna need to summon a few of those particles here. It's basically the same with a little change coordinates all the time. Then we have this bleed damage here. Damage at E, tech equals bleed, 3, magic. Magic is the uh, damage cause, you can change that to an entity attack for example, but then it's gonna be pushed back and that's pretty annoying. Then we just have this th thing here and you're gonna need to copy it like six times if you want it to look like it looks uh, for me. You can by the way just copy a command block pretty, e pretty easily with control and mouse wheel if you're on PC, if you're on the phone, I have no clue if this is even possible, probably not. Next up we have the ender effect which is just a little shorter but it's much copy and paste stuff. So first I'm gonna yeah I am gonna turn this lever off. I'm gonna throw this structure here. Oh I picked it up. Save it as ender and again call it ender before. Uh, and again I wanna show you what it exactly does. Uh, just give that a particle trail and they sometimes randomly teleport as you can see there. Then we're gonna have kill at E name equals paragraph 5 ender and this one is um, the lion ticks 5 as well. Comparator here. That's just the particle stuff again. Just pause the video at this point and then we're gonna have the exact same input basically like we had in the, in the other tech one but this time it's not tech add bleed but tech add ender. Also here we're gonna load our structure ender again at ourselves. Now this one is for the ender particles. Execute add at E, tech equals ender, run particle minecraft dragon underscore breath underscore trail and then this stuff here 
and it has a delay and takes off two. I'm quickly gonna show you how it looks like if it is zero. Yeah, that doesn't look too nice, I guess. Then we have the sound effect here, which is sometimes played if we're mute. And it has a delay and ticks of 100 to make the sometimes, sometimes, and that uh, not constantly. Then spread players, tilt, tilt, 1, 10, at E, tech equals, and the. So if you want the possible, uh, possible distance that I can teleport in to be bigger, then just change this number here, and maybe this number here as well. Last but not least, we have the blessing effect, which is really simple. It's just replace item entity at a name equals your username, has item, item equals raw underscore gold or whatever item you want the effect to trigger, to be triggered with, sorry. Location equals slot.weapon.mainhand, then slot.weapon.offhand zero keep totem of undying. So if I hold this item here, it's gonna throw those particles that's what that command for Q is for. And it's gonna replace my item I have here with a totem of undying. Unless I have anything there like a totem of undying for instance, uh, instances. Well, that means it's not gonna clear my arrows or stuff. But it's gonna give uh, me totems of undying if I don't have something in the slot. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, I really hope you enjoyed the video, sorry I'm not that good at explaining and I'm not that good at English, but uh, yeah, have a nice day.